Okay, now a suggestion for a gender neutral framework that hopefully will preserve our primary responsibilities as human beings without offending anyone. Okay, so right now uh, the traditional definitions uh, regarding gender are that you're male, you're female, uh, or hermaphrodite really. Uh, and truly that's the, the, the best we can come up with at the moment but I'm suggesting a new framework so basically what I'm suggesting is something that actually goes to the core of um, what our primary responsibilities are so if you don't like the label of agenda you still have a primary responsibility so I suggest that those who are born um, with the capacity to produce sperm are called the sperm custodians and those who are born with eggs are called the egg custodians yeah so hopefully that won't offend anyone there's still two different types of people the sperm custodians and the egg custodians so uh, I think if we forget what our primary responsibilities are we will become extinct yeah now most um, gender new neutral movements out there would like to say well why don't we just get uh, machines to store our sperm to store our eggs and they can basically reproduce the human race artificially without the involvement of, of us uh, directly the only problem with that is that there is something called a kill shot CME yeah whatever um artificial insemination machine you have or um artificial fertilization machine you have is going to be hooked up to the power grid it's going to be running on electricity everything that is hooked up to the power grid will be shut down the egg and the sperm that's stored in that machine will be ruined and once you give the responsibility of reproduction to a machine and a kill shot CME happens yeah basically that's the human race done yeah so what I would like to do you, you like to obviously be individual about things and uh, that's okay but you remember your primary responsibility if you are a sperm producing member of society you're the sperm custodian if you're an egg producing member of society you're the egg custodian at some point the egg and sperm have to meet so you two clowns have to get together and discuss how that's going to happen you cannot use an, an um, artificial fertilization methods because once you hook something up to the power grid the power grid is going to get hit by a kill shot there's been um, uh, one of the army guys a kind of major James something like that he came up with um, a program where they actually try to predict the future uh, devastation uh, events on the planet and they, all they could see is solar flares solar flares that knocked out power grids solar flares that can call that can cause a darkness um, for for months yeah um, so basically if you say okay we don't have to worry about gender just remove our eggs remove our, our sperm store them in a machine that's hooked up to the power grid yeah you are giving up forever you're giving up the human race yeah so what will happen when the kill shot happens the machine gets destroyed and we're, we're we're gone yeah so what i would like for you to do is to actually um start taking uh your responsibilities seriously yeah you produce sperm you're a sperm custodian you produce eggs you're an egg custodian yeah and we need for you to get those two uh, things together so that we can live forever yeah and uh, so in all this fooling around I don't know what what it is for uh, but uh, we need to always make sure that the egg and sperm meet yeah however they meet whatever you look like when they meet we need to make sure that those two entities meet yeah and it is everybody's responsibility even in terms of war let's say this uh, fanatics knock out the machines that, that produce uh, people artificially will still be able to do that naturally you can't take away our ability to produce egg and sperm naturally because there's a lot of crap in this world somebody can 
hack into any machine that that that, that um, handles your business and uh, we can't have it being done artificially it's got to be done by the individual yeah so that's something that I want all of you to consider uh, before you start uh, imagining things I mean that might be the, the last time you imagine things because if the sperm and egg do not meet yeah we're gone we can't live forever yeah anything that you want to do run it to a hundred percent if you see an extinction event that's why it's wrong yeah if what if you think what you're doing is right just imagine if the whole population was to do that if the whole population was to do that and we're still there to, to eternity that is okay but if the whole population was to behave like you yeah and you run the simulation to eternity will become extinct before we get to eternity that's why it's wrong because it leads to an extinction event some of the sexual deviations you have that do not involve egg and sperm meeting any sexual deviation you have that does not involve egg and sperm meeting would lead to an extinction event before time equals infinity if you was to run that simulation yeah so bear in mind that you're either the custodian of the sperm or the custodian of the egg those are your primary responsibilities don't mess it up 